it's uh, funny um, when people wonder about like how to sports, which was my early career, and I still do somewhat, and these more meaning of life kinds of books, how do they ever mesh? And I remember before Tuesdays with Maury came out, I actually had a discussion with my literary agent about, do you think this is going to hurt my sports writing career? And he said, well, what do you mean? I said, well, you know, maybe I'm going to go into a locker room and someone's going to say, oh, I, I read that book, uh, so you cried at the end, ha, 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 you're a softy, you know, dismiss me as like a lightweight. Um, and I remember my literary agent's answer was, I wouldn't worry about it, nobody's going to read it. <laughs> because before Tuesdays with Maury came out, we didn't think anybody would read it. You know, it was supposed to be this tiny little book. But I've been actually pretty surprised. Um, the people, athletes, coaches, um, even other sports writers have read Tuesdays with Maury, Five People You Meet in Heaven, even this new one, Have a Little Faith, it's been out even in a week, you start to hear from people. And um, maybe it's because they're short, I don't know, <laughs> uh, because you don't, read, you don't really tend to hear in the sports world a lot of people reading a lot of books, uh, but they're pretty positive about it. I've been in some interviews where, where, where I'm in the back of the room and the guy's talking, he's doing all the typical cliches, you know, we're going to give 150% and we have to just focus and then they'll spot me, hey, I read your book, good book, man, you know, and then they'll go back on. So I've been pretty surprised, you know, I think they think that um, it's, a, they're surprised that a sports writer can have any kind of outside life uh, uh, other than their locker room at all. And, and it's like you're getting to see them two-dimensionally or at least maybe even three-dimensionally. And uh, I think that that's good. And, and one of the reasons that I don't quit my sports writing altogether or kind of more fit the, mo the mold of someone who writes about the meaning of life kinds of books is because I don't think people should have to pretend that they're hermits or pretend that they're oracles uh, or that they live in a cave or that they grow a beard or that they wear sports coats with patches on their sleeves or something because that's, that's to suggest that you can't really have meaning in your life um, or can't be thinking about big picture things unless you fit a certain category. And I'm about trying to prove that that's exactly the opposite, that you can be a sports writer or you can be an actor or you can be an insurance agent or you can be any of those and still think about these big picture things. Why not? You know, I, I like to laugh and I like to have fun. I like to have a beer, but I can still realize what's important when it's time to realize what's important. So I kind of like the dual personality, even though it, it confuses people, admittedly, sometimes.